Hello, this is Mark Sadler of BestCAD Tips. Today's lesson is going to be how to make an S-curve connecting two existing roadways. So we have here two roadways that are separated by 100 feet and they're offset by a dimension of 40 feet. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to work from the center line outward because that's much easier than trying to figure out the edges. I'm going to create a temporary center line connecting the endpoints of these two center lines. Let's call this roadway A and roadway B. Then we're going to mark the midpoint of this uh, temporary center line with a circle. Now we want the arc that comes off of roadway A to be tangent to the center line of roadway A and we want it to meet perfectly in the center with an arc that's coming off of roadway B and is tangent to roadway B. So the easiest way that I've found to make an arc that's exactly tangent to an existing straight line is to use the polyline tool. So let's just start a polyline at the beginning of this center line and then at the end of this center line, let's switch to the arc option and continue that polyline and snap to the exact midpoint between these two uh, roadways. Now I'm going to escape out and repeat that polyline tool starting on roadway B, snapping to the two endpoints, switching to the arc option in the polyline tool and meeting exactly at the midpoint between these two roadways. Now we're going to delete the uh, marker and delete the temporary center line between these two and we're going to use the offset tool to offset the uh, from the center lines outward. I'm going to explode these center lines and delete some of them just to get rid of the stacked lines. I'm going to switch the uh, offset tool using the layer option to be the current layer. That way when I go to the layer that I'm using for the edges, it will make the edges the uh, same color and layer state as the existing edges. So let's just use the offset tool and set it to 12 feet, half the road width, and offset to the right and offset to the left. Offset to the right and offset to the left. And we're done. Now that's a simple way of making an S-shaped curve between two parallel roadways. The next part of the exercise is going to be to make a, an S-shaped curve between two non-parallel roadways. Here I've set up two 24-foot wide non-parallel roadways and we're going to again start by finding the exact midpoint between the two endpoints of the center lines. So I'm going to go from center line to center line and I'm going to uh, mark that with a circle. Now let's just study what we have so far. We have two angles that are not equal between the center line of the existing road and the new temporary center line of the S-curve. Let's take a measurement of those angles. If we go to the annotate tool and use the angular dimensioning tool and just look at this angle, which is 153, and then look at this angle, which is 161. We can see that there's a difference in angles. This one is a smaller angle, and this one is a larger angle. And what I've found is that you have a choice now of either using, we're, we want the two, uh, the two S-curve radii to be the same. So we can either use this half of the diagram, which has the smaller angle, and we can make a smaller S-curve, or we can use this part of the diagram and make a larger S-curve. Now, I'm just going to choose here, um, arbitrarily, to use the smaller angle for my S-curve. So we're going to start on this uh, roadway, roadway A, and again, we're going to go to this center line layer and we're going to start with a polyline and create a polyline from these two endpoints, switch to the arc option, and end at this midpoint between the two center lines. 
Now, we need to find out what that radius is in order to match it with our other uh, curve. And so let's use the radius measuring dimension tool and we see that the radius is 40 foot zero and a quarter. Now I'm just gonna explode this, delete the parts that aren't text, straighten up the text and grow the text. That is the desired radius that we want for this second part of the S-curve. Now the best way to get this part of the curve, I found, is to start with a circle and then trim it down to become an arc. So let's go to the circle making tool and let's uh, pull down the options and we're going to choose the tool called tan tan radius. You get tangent to one line, tangent to another line, and then you enter a radius, which in this case is 44 foot zero and a quarter. So let's start that tool. Let's draw the circle tangent to roadway B, tangent to the new arc that we created coming from roadway A, and having a radius of 44 feet, zero and a quarter inches. There's our circle. And now you can see that while it meets perfectly here in the middle, it does not meet perfectly here because, again, we chose the smaller angle to make this and we now have to extend this roadway upward to, uh, to connect with that tangent circle. So let's use the extend command, make the circle a target, hit enter, and click on roadway B center line. Now we can offset that if we want to. Uh, let's go to the layer of the edges. Let's delete them and let's offset that 12 feet each way. That'll save us some extending later. Okay, so now all we have to do is trim the big circle. And we're going to use the, the uh, existing arc and the existing roadway center line and the circle itself as cutting edges. So using those, setting those as cutting edges, we simply get rid of the big part of the circle and we get part rid of the temporary center line and the marker in the middle. And now we can delete all of this and just to show you that we do have equal radii between the two. 44, zero and a quarter, 44, zero and a quarter there. So let's just delete these dimensions, offset 12 feet to get to the current layer, offset left and offset right, offset left and offset right, and uh, explode that polyline and delete. It looks like we have some stacked lines going on there. And now we have a perfect S-shaped curve between two non-parallel roadways. So we did the non-parallel version and we did the parallel version. Well, I hope that helps and I hope you found it interesting, maybe learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming.